Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 10 of Attack on Titan, Response, The Struggle for Trost. And this is The Struggle for Trost, Part 6. Yeah, we've How really been going. How long are we going to be struggling for Trost? Trost is a struggle-worthy well. location. Yeah. I say we just pick up right where we left off. Yeah. If you have been enjoying our Attack on Titan reaction series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. We are going to be releasing episodes every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, check out the Patreon linked in the description below if you want to see episodes early, including episode 11 and 12, which are already posted to the Patreon linked in the description below. All right, I think that's about it. Are we excited for episode 10 of Attack on Titan? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Heads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Well, you can time. respond poorly. Oh, Are here you we go. A human being or <laughs> yeah. A Titan? I'm human. So you say. I'm left with no choice. Then why ask? But I hate this commander. I watched those monsters eat my squad! I saw my friends die! I didn't even really feel anger or sadness about the whole thing! Better you than me! I don't want to be eaten! Screw that! Hey, ah! come on. Keep See, it together, oh. You're not alone, you know. We're so all Marco fighting back in. our fear. Mm -hmm. Look at Sasha! Even after what she's seen, she remains a proper soldier! Ah! <laughs> my stomach aches! Please carve me away with the wounded! <laughs> She's just hungry. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, I thought it was like oh, an anxiety stomach. Like Might have been. But her, her thing's always eating, you know. Enough already. If they knew about Aaron. Cannon fire. But why just one shot? Look! Smoke! It's inside the wall! Oh boy. So they're gonna start freaking out. Because they think it a well, titan has gotten inside, pit? right? Yeah. Possible. It's the sturdiest part of the whole wall. Maybe they set off a shell by accident, but then why is there so much smoke? <clears throat> Not now. Is that Titan Steam? <laughs> hey! Wow. Yeah, wow. Oh my gosh, I've never watched this a second time. I don't remember any of this. What the hell is that? What the? What do you even make of that? Part skeleton, part... It looks like the Colossal Titan, like the build, or like at least the like the way it's drawn. Mm. Interesting. It's alive! Captain Foreman! He's terrified. Yeah. What the? Same what eye does. color as Aaron. Maintain your distance! The squads remain alert! It could strike at any time! Artillery crew, get that cannon reloaded! <laughs> it's like connected to him? <laughs> He's attached to it. Oh, that is a vile thought. So, he was just in it. In it again. What is this? Or not again, he's in a Titan again. I know I heard them fire their cannon at us, and then... What are Apparently, what are those? We're in the of a giant those are ribs. Did this for us, oh, them. what? That's all we need to understand for now. They were underneath it, like it's mm -hmm. there before. How did they? Armin, make us Oh, what the? Hey, are you guys all right? Aaron, how you? Wait, it's like know. dissolving. Look, it's already starting to vaporize, just like the corpse of a Titan. Let's get out of here. Hard to tell if they're watching and waiting. We're just totally dazed. 
So Aaron's just out and talking? Sure, once the smoke clears, they'll resume the attack. Okay, something about Aaron makes him able to fuse or puppeteer Titan somehow. He didn't remember any of it. I don't know if the transition gets easier the more he does it. The Titan, I think it it's like a like an airbag almost, where he like can like trigger it. It's like his body. He hmm. becomes You think it's him? Yes. It's like an Iron Man situation, mm -hmm. except instead of a robot body, it's a Titan, and instead of getting into your suit, you bite your thumb. After seeing this, I think we've blown any hope of reasoning with him. The cellar. I'm starting to remember. This key. Our house in Shiganshina. My father said I'd have to go back there. Everything hinged on it. I think it's why he gave me the power to transform. If I can make it back to our cellar. I might learn the Titan's secret! Why did he keep this stuff secret? How many scouts have already died because my father didn't share this information? Exactly. It could be the last chance humanity has! And the answer's been hidden away under our house this entire time? Is he insane? Aaron is not Damn. happy with his dad. As he should be. Where have you been these last five years, Dad? Aaron. Oh, interesting. I assumed his dad died. Right. As soon as you see it, blast yeah, they're like, we have a bunch of guns anything. pointed at them. Alright, it's falling apart. Pretty standard mm -hmm. Titan corpse behavior. I'm getting out of here. Anywhere but here. Then I head over the wall and straight to Shiganshina. But I'll have to become a Titan again. You can transform it, Will. To be honest, I don't know how I'm doing it, Armin. I just know that I can. It's That's wild. Words, but it Very strange. Reflexive, see? In that moment, my mind subconsciously focused on stopping the cannonball. That's why it's decaying. It only had the endurance to meet that task. Mm -hmm. Interesting that he is Next still okay, even though the Titan was destroyed, but which is the same thing that happened Titan's for the other just Titan. Just like I was before. Mm -hmm. Aaron! You're bleeding. Your nose is... Your breathing is erratic and you're pale. Something's wrong, Aaron. You're not well. Hmm. As things stand, my health is irrelevant. <laughs> I'm not sure I about have that. Two ideas. You two could make it out of here alive if you stop trying to protect me. I've brought you nothing but trouble as it is. Doing this on my own from this point forward. You're kidding. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah Mikus is not gonna to. have that. Yeah, Aaron's no. like. She's like. I plan to follow Since when you, has that ever happened? To or not. Yeah. I swear. How can Aaron not get that? <laughs> right? Because of, stop it. I'm being like, she, serious this here. has been her I'm thing for as brother. long as they've known each other. Toddler. Yeast. <laughs> We're ready, sir. What are your orders for the next attack? <laughs> Man is All troops will await my signal. terrified. Yes, sir. Yeah. The garrison regiment isn't ready to assault our position yet. I would assume they have a well-trained artillery crew above us. That cannon ought to be reloaded in the next 20 seconds. Aaron will most likely spring into action and be long gone before that happens. Why am I thinking of that at a time like this? Is it because this is the end for us? When it's all said and done, at the moment of truth, I was a coward. The same as right now. I can't count the number of times they've come to my rescue. I was always so weak. He just has so much guilt. Yeah. I still haven't earned the right to think of myself as their equal. I can't afford to try and repay their kindness by going with them. I'd only end up slowing them down. Oh no. That's tough, knowing that about yourself. Yeah. The last time the three of us will ever be together. That's really sad. Listen, I Just won't- Just wait a second, would ya? If you recall, I said I had two ideas. Armin, I trust you to make the right decision. That's one way to snap out. someone out of, like, a self-deprecation yes, spiral. Yeah. Realistic this plan is. Best case scenario, I try to use my Titan ability strategically under military direction. This might sound crazy, but if you think you can convince the Garrison Regiment, right here and now, that I present no threat to them, I'll trust you and we'll go with that option. That's my second idea. If you don't think you can get it done, then my last resort is the first idea. 
You've got so 15 it's... seconds to decide. <laughs> I think you can get it done. <laughs> Armin's Listen, like, uh, um, oh, oh no. Either way. <laughs> Being put on a like That's that. rough with no, a cannon on you. Thank you. you. Aaron, why would you leave such a major decision up to me? Because he because trusts you, you and believes way. in you. You always choose well, no matter how ugly things get. I figure that's worth relying on. See, that's Where why they need that? you. Yeah. On, you all all the, the time. time. Thank Ten, you. Ago, if you hadn't gone to Mr. Hannes for help, Mikasa and I would have been eaten by the Titans. I missed that detail last time I watched. Wow. So in that moment, that's, that's why Mikasa like said earlier, you saved us five years ago. You didn't mm -hmm. remember it. Poor excuse for a friend. I had convinced myself that I was just a friend to all of you. Oh. Oh, this is gonna make never, me cry. You never thought of me that way at all. Armin, our time's up. <laughs> Very sweet. I don't I'll think we can pause. <laughs> no, we gotta keep it's watching. Your call, and Mika said enough faith in me to put their lives in my hands. Oh no. I have complete oh. trust in the two of them. Pretty big moment for Armin. Yeah, you and got this. Alone is all the convincing I need. Okay. All right, let's hear the speech. I will persuade them. Trust me. You two just act as non-aggressively as you possibly can. Agreed? Since Aaron first appeared in Look at his confidence, bro. Something's been gnawing at the back of my mind. I haven't had a chance to collect my thoughts yet, but I can do this. I'll just have to think as I talk. Are you stupid? Aaron is not a foe of humanity. We're willing to cooperate with military command and share everything we've learned about his powers. Your pleas fall on deaf ears. He revealed his true form, and because of that threat, he cannot leave here alive. If you insist he's not an enemy of ours, show me proof. Otherwise, we'll blast him back to How do you prove that you're not an enemy? You don't need How about the fact proof? that he's a titan right now and he's not eating you? He said you don't need proof. proof. Yeah. It doesn't matter what we perceive him to be. What? The reports say hundreds of soldiers saw him, and those who were there say they saw him fighting other Titans. And that means they saw him get swarmed by the Titans as well. To put it plainly, the Titans saw him the same way they see each and every human being as their prey. And it doesn't matter how else you may look at it. That is an irrefutable fact. Sp he's speaking facts yep. like you can't. Enemy of my enemy. Yep. Nothing you can do with that. Behavior has always been beyond our comprehension. I wouldn't put it past him to assume human form. He's speaking our language in an attempt to deceive us. But they I know. To let them continue this behavior unchecked. What? No! Come on. Oh boy. It's hopeless. No. He let logic give way to hysteria. Too frightened to think it through. That's applicable. Aaron, make us up. Without a titan isn't going well. Yeah. Captain Vorman, his words are worth considering, sir. Maybe oh, yeah. Quiet! Don't let their words sway you. They're all traitors. I swore an oath as an officer. I will crush all insubordination. That's enough. <laughs> you should really do something about your nervous disposition, Captain Vorman. <laughs> Commander Pixis! The guy was playing chess earlier. No way! Can you not see this soldier's heartfelt salute? I've only just arrived, but I'm Thank quite goodness. aware of our situation. Gather our reinforcements. 
I think we could at least do these young soldiers the favor of hearing them out. What would we do without this guy? <laughs> We're a fan of I was going to say something bad about mustaches, but now I can't. There was a part where Armin was completely down on himself, thought he was a burden all these years. And then he was told by Aaron, like, hey, I trust your decision completely on this. Mm -hmm. What do you think that did for Armin? I think confidence wise, that's going to be an absolute game changer. Having someone who you so highly respect and like value their opinion, validate you does wonders for confidence more so than any kind of like self-validation. He's been feeling down on himself, like, mm -hmm. for all the struggling of Tross. Yeah. Armin has been kind of a nervous wreck, and literally, like, one sentence turned him around. It, I just, yeah, well, I didn't notice how big of a takes. change that was back then. And then, so he went forward, he argued. This commander really didn't end up listening to him, but no. he was doing pretty well with the argument. Oh, absolutely. Say. Armin was swaying some of the scouts yeah. in that first speech where the commander was not having it. It was anticipated that the Titans would appear from the south. These reports were proven accurate when the Titans attacked Shiganshina District, located on the south side of Walmaria. Therefore, it was surmised that their next most likely target would be the fortified city of Trost, on the southern side of Wall Rose. Dot Pixis, the commanding officer responsible for the southern territory. The man in charge of the defense of Trost District. The man given full authority over preserving humanity's most vital yep. remaining territory. So they're only in the city. They're nope, not through the wall not yet. Any of okay. you. Eaten by a titan wouldn't be so bad if it was a sexy lady one. The man also notorious. Are there for lady titans? Eccentric. The hell is going through the commander's head? Don't this guy's gotta not be happy. Yeah, seriously. Well, sir, that's the commander. He's well known for taking a less traditional approach. We have finished Interesting, assembling not the troops, traditional, sir. but in ah, charge. Yeah. Well done. He's eccentric, they say. He has different ways of thinking. Mm-hmm. But people who think that's like that, that don't typically get put so in People who think like that don't typically get put in charge. Up. Yes, sir. Mm. Well, at least I think so. For the moment, there is no way to validate all of the claims you've made. I can usually tell the difference between the unctuous and the sincere, which is why I personally guarantee your safety. <sighs> Your cadet Armin Arlert, is that correct? It's good to have yes, somebody sir. that knows what, what to do. Who's in charge and guarantees so that they're not going to do anything to you and then yet. And utilize your friend's power to retake the city. Do you believe it could work? Pretty cool. Or were you grasping at straws to try and save your hides? Oh, well, both, Commander. I was going to suggest that Honest Aaron, take? using his strength as a titan, could lift that giant boulder. We could use it to block off the wrecked gate. That was the best idea I was able to come up with on the spot. To make everyone see how Aaron's ability might provide a solution to the problem we all face. <sighs> Granted, I was pretty desperate to survive. Desperate to survive, huh? That's as credible a reason as any, son. What do you say, Cadet Jaeger? <clears throat> say, sir? That hole. Do you think that you could plug it up, son? <sighs> Because that would, like, prove know. ultimately possible, the, like, but at the moment, directable I titan power. power. Yeah, power but he doesn't, he doesn't understand it. It's mm -hmm. just, I sort of feel irresponsible giving you an answer. Because I don't really know. Ah, yes. Of course, my apologies. I asked you the wrong question. Are you willing to, Cadet Jaeger? Or not? Cause that's all that matters. Yeah. Like at this point in the situation, what they're doing and what they've been doing isn't working. Try something new. Who cares if mm. you're not certain it's gonna work? Is it better than nothing? Yes, Look obviously. At this. The view. Very cool. All right. Um, I wanted to ask you. I'll ask you a question after. This. <laughs> Big decision. I'll do you it. can do it. Yay. Okay. Thank God. I'll do it. His eyes are so beautiful. I don't know if I can seal that hole, but I'll do it. All right. So that was episode 10 of Attack on Titan. Lots to discuss. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode and are excited for episode 11 coming next Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, check out the Patreon link in the description below if you want to see that episode early and beyond. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict.
Thank you for watching that episode. For now, we're going to go to questions left to us by our Patreon members. If you want to join the discussion and ask us questions after every episode, check out the Patreon linked in the description below. You can join at any level to start asking questions, and as the tiers go up, you can get early access to content, creative input, and more. Uh, for now, let's get to question one. Jenna asks, do you think the plan, TM, will work? Will it be a turning point in the struggle against the Titans? Fantastic. I do think the plan will work. I think it's pretty much the perfect situation because there's no way that people were going to be able to move that boulder to block the damaged gate. There's no way they would be able to fix the damaged gate because there are titans coming in, yeah. obviously. The only way would be to use that one giant boulder to immediately block it and then that completely fixes the problem. Mm -hmm. It's a situation where there is no violence. There's no chance that Aaron's titan like inadvertently hurts a person. If I were going to do it, I would send him somewhere away from people, mm -hmm. have him transform, and then have him go pick up the rock and then go How put it in the How are you gonna tell thing. the Titan to pick up the rock? Tell Aaron and hope that he can get that thing. But you don't have a single other option. That's the true, only thing you but can that's do, the big gamble. Yes and no. The only thing you can do is get people away, so if he doesn't necessarily have control quite yet, he doesn't hurt anyone. Mm. But I do think if it were like a battle situation where he could potentially like hurt someone that would really invalidate him as an asset here's the question do you think it'll work yes or no yes wonderful uh well, let's move on to question two mark b92 asks after witnessing armin in action would you rather have mikas's physical skill or armin's analytical skill in relation to dealing with titans long term all right super great Important question clarification there um and i think it completely hinges on one thing and that's whether or not people respect Armin because wow cool way to look at having that. one person who's an incredible fighter can only do so much right like one person fighting Titans non-stop the graph is a straight line mm -hmm. right the slope is exactly the same Armin if people will listen and that's a big if yeah then I think long term he will be able to overall make more of a difference. Interesting. Good answer to that question. Let's go to our last question. So we already kind of touched on this, but mm -hmm. the future part is going to be interesting. Ashton asks, what do you think of Armin's development this episode and how it'll affect his views on others and himself in the future? So we already talked about how Armin gained a lot of confidence in that moment where yeah. Aaron kind of revealed to him, like, I trust your opinion on the strategy. And then he took charge and kind of did that. But how do you think that moment will affect him and his confidence moving forward? I think that was like a big character development moment for him. And we also learned a lot just kind of about the way he's thought of himself from like a child until now. I think this newfound confidence is going to make him have a lot more certainty in his plans and skills, which is going to make him more believable. Yeah. Unfortunately, if you sound like you know what you're talking about, people are more likely to believe you regardless of whether or not your information is actually correct. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see how he starts to perceive people differently based on this new knowledge of himself. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it for our episode verdict section. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that episode and be on the lookout for episode 11 coming next Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's already posted to the Patreon, so check out that link in the description if you want to see that episode early and more, and ask us the questions we just answered. I think that's about it. Are we excited for episode 11 of Attack on Titan? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go.